of our company. Oh my goodness. All right. All right, guys, listen up. So if you go ahead and scan the code, and yeah, the British soldier is kind of, uh, it looks like he's real close to some of you, so you're seeing, you're seeing his boots, literally boots on the ground. Um, during World War I, these British soldiers carried almost everything he or she needed, uh, including, of course, a gun, ammunition, personal items, water, tools, and protective gear, ammunition, grenades, and similar items could be carried in pockets and pouches and small shovels that could be used for any activities such as digging trench lakes to an artillery piece. So you should see in a moment, maybe now, um, you should see an artillery piece. And if you need to, if you need to back up, uh, but the artillery piece, ladies, remember, artillery was that, um, was that used on the front lines, Cecilia? Was was artillery used like in the trench itself, or where was it located? Yeah, usually almost like uh, my, about a mile away. Your screen is working. What'd you do? You can move around. Guys, you can get up and move around. It's sometimes yeah. easier if you do that. You stand up. Okay. You can't actually get focus unless you move. Try standing up and pointing at you. Oh, put this one? Yeah, put that on the floor. Are you stuck to that? Yeah, she's stuck to it. So, what you're looking at, ladies, is a 150 millimeter Schneider cannon. It was one of the artillery types that were used in the trenches during World War I by the German forces. Um, it was a howitzer type of cannon. And it also fired, um, it fired uh, at a steep, steep angle so that it could be upwards a mile away and actually make it to uh, And you can see down the barrel. Super, super uh, good deal. All right, let's switch over to the next one. Emma, um, come over here. So, what you're about to see, what was used for the first time, other than the tank, ladies, what was used for the first time in warfare? Planes. Planes. So, let's take a look. So, airplanes such as this triplane were another important military service during World War I. Both sides used airplanes to map the enemy positions. We called that what? Starts with an R, ends with an reconnaissance. You're so smart and you're so good. Uh, both sides used airplanes. Um, some airplanes were also equipped with machine guns and could engage enemy pilots in what kind of fights? Dog fights, very good, very good. Do you think you would go off on one of these things? Pilot. Not so much. It would be like you're the pilot and you're seeing from his vantage point. See right there. His vantage point here's his controls and he's looking down there. All right. So let's do. Oh, here we go. Here's our next one. So 1916. 1916, Battle of the Somme. What's used for the first time? Tank. Tank. Let's uh, let's hop in. All right. So this is a British Mark. This is a British Mark IV tank. Uh, tanks first appeared on the battlefield during World War One and eventually helped break the stalemate that was caused by the French, or excuse me, by the trench warfare. This is a Mark IV by the uh, British built. That's cool. Um, the British built more than 1,200 Mark IVs. Oh, no. uh, so again, ladies, imagine 1,200 tanks coming your way across no man's land. Uh, all the while, you've got troops uh, marching right next to them. But what did we say a lot of times happened? They broke down in the middle of no man's land. So what used to be your protection became yeah, became your, uh, your steel coffin. Um, these heavy vehicles were also known as land ships due to their shape and movement. Uh, very good, very good. You go inside? So apparently there's an Easter egg and you can go inside the tank. You guys managed to get inside the tank?
Good morning, everyone. This is Will Nobles with NOLA.com and the Times Picayune. Uh, we are currently inside of Earthline Academy, and we are here while Google is showing the students a um, unreleased feature on the expedition's augmented reality. We were just in the Knight and Tink Raiders class, and now we are going inside of the Fort Raiders class, first grade class, to see uh, how students are using the AR tech. Morning. Keep it on. If it's on the floor, 
to the All righty, everyone. You just saw first graders using Google's Expeditions AR to uh, learn about what it looks like some uh, animals in there. We're going to chat with Jessica Baker, the director of curriculum at Ursuline, who's going to talk to us about um, uh, this, uh, all of these sessions that are going on today. Hi, so we have the Google Expeditions team on campus today. They are demoing their AR version of Google Expeditions, which is yet to be released. So this is a beta version of the program. And so we have students in grades kindergarten through 12th grade that are rotating through the sessions to experience the new um, AR version of Google Expeditions. So it's basically virtual field trips that the students will be able to go on. The first graders that you just saw, they are learning about animal camouflage. So what they were seeing is uh, animals camouflage in their environment. So on their actual screens, they were able to see the animals come to life, which helps the teacher to take that conversation to a whole new level. And so the teacher actually had the ability to control what the students were seeing on their phones, to pause it in order to have uh, classroom discussions, and to be able to move on to, uh, to new animals and things like that. Uh, so our whole goal here is to increase opportunities for our girls to have experiences in STEM. Uh, we are an all-girls school here at Earthline Academy, and uh, we know that students are underrepresented, or girls really, are underrepresented in STEM fields. So our goal at Earthline is to provide experiences for our girls and exposure to STEM in, ho in hopes of um, strengthening their skills and also their enthusiasm for the subjects. Great, thank you so much. You're welcome. Again guys, thank you for joining us this morning. Uh, this will conclude our Facebook Live broadcast of this really awesome thing going on here at Ursuline Academy. Thank you so much for joining us and you can learn more about this at NOLA.com.